Hi and welcome to my tutorial on making a 4-speed fan controller. Okay, so there's an overview of the parts you'll need to build your fan controller. For the cover, you'll need one of the five and a quarter inch bay covers of your computer. I just drilled holes in it for the switches to fit in. As for the switches, you need two. Um, so you can see that each have two connectors on the back. Uh, if you want to see how they work, you can check out the diagram sheet. You also need six um, female connectors so they can so you can connect your setup to the switches. So you'll also need three Molex connectors or two of these uh, deep cool four fan connecting hubs. So I'll make a vague attempt at at least explaining how the setup works. Um, so you've got the two switches, each of three ports, and for your fans you'll have four settings. There's um, full speed which is 12 volts, medium speed which is 7 volts and low speed which would be 5 volts and you can also turn it completely off and um, how it works is when you want um, it to run full speed the switches would be configured to let 12 volts 12 volts which currently run through the circuit so here's how it works so you'd have your 12 volt from your running through the switch you have two fans and then add through negative. Then if you want low speed, you switch this switch over to connect to um, disconnect the 12 volts and the 5 volts will be connected. Running through the switch, through your fan, and add through negative. Then for medium speed, 7 volts, the switch will be switched back to 12 volts, so it's still 12 volts running through here, but then the second switch we switch from running out of negative to running out the 5 volts. Essentially the 5 volts cancels out 5 volts of the 12 volts energy and 7 volts is the result. So that's the medium speed. And if you want to switch it completely off, you switch this to the 5 volts and this to the 5 volts as well. So there's potentially no current can flow. There's no difference between the point here and the point here. So this is my um, connector from the power source. The yellow wire is obviously 12 volts. Red is 5 volts. And if you look in the diagram sheet, you'll see the red one runs between two switches. So I added two connectors to it. And then this black one is the, the negative. So then I just connected them like so. So now all the wires are connected for the power source. Now you have to connect the exporting, the export wires. And um, they go in the middle too. Now it's a bit of a mess. I'll fix that one day. But yeah, so now you've got everything set up for connection. So in my case, when both switches are switched down, it's on full power, and uh, I'd, I'd recommend when you boot up the computer, keep it on full power or at least intermediate, uh, depending on fan types you have. Um, I feel that some of my lower quality fans wouldn't spin up if I start the computer on 5 volts. So. Just uh, keep that in mind when you reach your computer. So let's go ahead and start it up. And as for um, switching fan speeds, it uh, depends on how you wired your to set up and everything. So full speed now, if I switch this switch up, in my case the green light comes on, but it depends on the switch. It is now running at medium speed, 7 volts. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very quiet now, especially compared to full speed. And if you want it even more quiet, you can switch it to 
5 volts. You can tell from the lights from the fans, it's really, really dim now. And I can't, you can, it's basically inaudible. So yeah, it's as simple as that, you just switch 7 volts, 12 volts, 5 volts. And if you really want, you can switch it off completely. Zero volts. Nice. So yeah, it's a, it's a really simple setup. It looks quite neat, I think. Um, it's inexpensive, easy to make, and yeah, I just think it's a really cool little project. So thank you for watching, and hit the like button if you liked it, dislike if you disliked. And uh, it'd be cool if you could share it with your friends, maybe someone else would benefit from this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.